tonight with the Downport West football team. Joining us from the 2-0 Falcons, Jalen Green, a senior lineman, and Brady Hanson, a senior quarterback. Guys, thanks for coming in on a, on a Sunday evening. Um, Jalen, I'll start with you. When you started camp back in August, did you see this team the way that you've worked over the last couple years, starting out with 2-0 record, and why? Um, I... I for sure thought that we were going to start out 2-0. I knew that these first two games that we had were 100% winnable, and especially when I saw how much determination and effort we gave at practice over the camp season and throughout all summer and in the weight room in the winter and all, all the off-season stuff that we did. So, Brady, to get those wins, like you said, you felt like they were winnable games. I'm sure you probably felt that way, as, as did the rest of the team. To get those two wins, what did that mean to this team now that you are 2-0? Yeah, it meant a lot. Um, the seasons pre uh, previous, uh, we struggled a little bit, but um, everyone just really seems to come together. And uh, we've got some new coaching staff. Um, everyone's been doing their job really well. So, yeah. Do you feel, Jalen, that the 2-0 start is important because of that work? You talked about uh, the weight room. People were in there. You've kind of built for this. Do you feel if it had gone the other way, people would like, ah, was it worth it? Do you feel like, like, like now it's like, okay, yeah, it is worth it? Yeah, I 100% think that would have happened. If we hadn't um, started off 2-0 like we did, I feel like people's attitudes would have started to tank and they would have, we might have seen a lot of morale go down. But now that we're 2-0, I feel like we know that we can win and now it's time for us to start turning it up. What was the confidence level like after winning that game on Friday night against uh, Davenport North the other day? Yeah, we had a big stop by our, our defense in the uh, fourth quarter. Yeah. Confidence is just through the roof right now. Um, our coaches have all the confidence in the world in us, so they know we can do it, so now we just have to believe too. Coaches have probably always had the confidence in you guys. Uh, you guys are both starters from sophomore year, so you're three-year starters. They probably, and I remember talking to Coach Cruzy a couple years ago, his first year back, he's like, I got some sophomores on this team right now that in a couple years, we're going to be really good. And I was obviously talking about you guys and some of the other guys that you have right now. Um, now that they have seen the work pay off and you have seen the work pay off, are the lower levels starting to buy in a little bit more as well? Oh, I think so, 100%. Now that we are winning and that we feel good and that our team is more of a team and not like always bickering at each other, I feel like the younger levels are just gonna, we're just gonna start getting more and more freshmen and more and more sophomores going out until we start winning a lot and frequently. Brady, talk about the offense. Where is this offense at right now? You being the quarterback, where are you at? Uh, yeah, uh, it's been pretty well. Well, we have a lot of things to improve on still, but mm -hmm. uh, got a couple of new coaches, um, mixing up the plays, uh, helping us get in the end zone a lot. So yeah, it's been exciting. So are you a RPO kind of quarterback? Do you like to drop back and pass? What, what, what's your preference here? Whatever I have to do, pretty much. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get the win, right? Yeah. Um, well, let me ask you then about the big guys here up front. I mean, obviously, Jalen and some of his teammates up there are, are doing a great job giving you protection, opening some holes for the running back. How, how good are they up front for you? They've been doing great, uh, giving me all the time in the world. Receivers are getting open when they need to. Running backs are hitting their holes. Um, yeah. What does it mean for you? to see that uh, when he has time to throw and he, and he connects on that pass or, or the running back breaks a big long run. It's, it's great to see our hard work and all the stuff we do through practice just finally pay off. Like finally, it seems like we're able to, everything's just clicking and we're able to give him enough time to throw the football and get our running backs good enough lanes to be able to score and get first downs. So Jalen, you go on the road and you win up in Clinton. Let me ask you first about that game. What was it like to go on the road and, and get that first road win? It felt, it felt great to go up to Clinton and get a win, especially when we weren't expected to win by a lot, but our defense made a great stop on the goal line and kept them from scoring. And Overall, I thought that we had it – was, it was rough for our first game, but otherwise I feel like we got better the next week. There's always going to be that first week mistake, like you said jitters, whatever, when you're playing that first team. So what did you see in week two against Davenport North where you may have had some more jitters um, because you're playing one of your biggest rivals in, in North and it's your first home game. So the improvement, what did you see improvement-wise out of this team in week two? Um, just timing, pretty much. Everything was a lot more organized. Um, everyone was doing their jobs pretty well. So, yeah, we just got to get better every week. And I know North is a team that 
has gotten you in the past. Uh, so what did that mean to you to, to get them this year uh, and, and improve it to an O? It felt great to finally get a win over North. Like it's it's been eight or nine games since we've beat North, and it felt great to finally snap that streak. And hopefully this streak, we start a streak of beating North. Um, so next game, Waterloo West, um, road game, correct? Uh, at home. Uh, home, home yep. game. I'm sorry, home game. Um, to play at home again against another team with the chance to go three and zero. What do you think this week of practice is going to be like? Uh, we just got to be on top of everything, um, fix all the mistakes from the previous weeks, and uh, yeah. Do you think it's doable? Obviously, obviously you're two and zero at this point. Uh, a, a third win would be a, a big step for this team. I'm, I'm trying to think of the last time a, a West team was three and zero. It's probably been a number of years now. Yeah, I, I 100% think it's doable. I feel like as long as we just come to practice focused, and then Friday night we just do what we do and hopefully um, limit those mistakes that we had last Friday. And I think this, this game is 100% doable to win. How much fun is it to run on that turf at Brady Street Stadium each and every Friday night? It's a lot of fun, yeah, especially when you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> Things always taste better when you, we, yeah. the, the, the field looks better, the, the stands are, are packed, everything, winning solves a lot of things, right? Yeah. What is it like for you being a senior and running out in that field? Oh, it's, it's great. Knowing that this might be one of the last times I get to play football, it's, it's 100% the, one of the best feelings in the world to run out on the turf on Friday night. Well, guys, congratulations. 2-0 uh, start for the first time since 2019. Go ahead and get that third win. And then down the road is a, a Davenport Central team that I know uh, you're looking to, to win the Battle of Davenport this year if you can uh, beat Central in a couple of weeks. So that would be pretty, pretty good for you guys, so pretty important mm -hmm. game. So good luck this week. Have a good week of practice, and good luck on Friday. Thank you. Thank you. All right, time for our first break. We come